Welcome to the Azure and Cyborg 2 setup video. In your package, you will find Azure and Keypad, a USB-C cable, a quick guide, spare screws, including the one for the small tower, an Azure screwdriver, thumbstick caps, and a restrictor ring. The thumbstick caps come in three different lengths. You can easily swap these by simply pulling them off. Let's proceed with adjusting the keypad. Loosen a screw slightly. Move the part to the desired position. And then retighten the screw. Loosen the screws just enough to allow movement of the towers. Do not remove them completely. Also, be careful not to over tighten the screws as this could damage the keypad. We recommend adjusting each finger tower one at a time. Try positioning the tower so it aligns with your finger. Once you find that a tower is comfortably positioned, move on to the next one. Our package includes a small screw for adjusting the rail with a little tower. Loosen this screw. Insert small screw. Adjust the rail, then tighten both screws. Loosen this screw to adjust the small tower. By releasing this screw, you can adjust the tilting angles of the thumbstick module. Loosen this screw to rotate the thumbstick. You can also adjust the thumbstick distance by releasing these two screws. Release these screws to change the angle between towers. This is the only screw that must be removed and repositioned to change the angle of the thumbstick rail. Loosen these screws to adjust the distance between the palmist and the key towers. By releasing this screw, you can adjust different tilting angles of the towers. These screws are for adjusting the angle of the tower top buttons. If you have the compact version of the Cyborg 2 keypad, raise the tower until the top key is within reach. Repeat the adjustment process for each tower. Ensure that the towers align with your fingers, all keys are accessible without misclicks, and that the all screws are tightened. Visit azurin.eu slash downloads and get the latest Azure software. Install it. If you want to save profiles from an older Azure keypad, first connect it to your computer. Open the Azure software, select profile you want to save and click copy as profile. Repeat for a second profile if needed. You can transfer these profiles to the Cyborg 2 later. Connect the keypad to your PC using the provided USB cable. The LED light will turn on when connected. Open the Azure software, which will detect the keypad. The software will check if your keypad's firmware is up to date. If not, you will be prompted to update it. Press the Update button. After the firmware update, the software will prompt you to calibrate the thumbstick. Click Begin calibration. Do not touch the thumbstick for the first few seconds. When prompted, slowly rotate the thumbstick in full circles until the calibration is complete. Press Save. To reduce the motion range of the thumbstick, you can install the restrictor ring.
This allows quicker directional changes with shorter thumbstick movements. Remember to recalibrate the thumbstick if you add or remove the restrictor ring. To recalibrate, open the Azenon software, go to settings, select analog settings, click calibrate and follow the on-screen instructions. The Cyborg 2 onboard memory can hold up to 6 game profiles. Two profiles are provided by default and you can add more by selecting Add Profile. Activate them by clicking on Next to Onboard. To switch to the next profile, press the Profile button once. To revert to the previous profile, press the button twice. To activate the first profile, press and hold the button. There is also a software section for profiles. Here you can create countless profiles, yet these profiles will remain on your PC only. You can copy the onboard profile to the software profile section by pressing copy as profile. To activate the software profile section, click on next to software. To create a new software profile, highlight an existing one and select Copy Profile. Activate the software profile by clicking on it and selecting Activate. You can transfer a software profile to the onboard memory. By selecting the desired profile, clicking Copy to and choosing which onboard profile to replace. To toggle between two software profiles using the Profile button, select your desired profiles and click the star symbol next to each. Now, pressing the Profile button will switch between these starred profiles. The active profile will be marked with a check mark. Now you can set up your keybinds to your liking. To modify a key, click on it, choose the input method. We'll use a regular keyboard and then press the desired key on your keyboard. You can assign up to three key combinations or six if you include modifier keys. Several modes are available for your thumbstick. Choose the keyboard to move in eight directions and bind your movement keys, for example, WASD. This mode will work pretty much in any game. If your game supports dual input, you can pick Xbox 360 joystick mode. This will grant you a more nuanced movement with the thumbstick, and you will still be able to point and shoot with your mouse. After setting up your profile, link it to a specific game so it activates when the game is launched. Right-click on the profile, choose Link Settings, then select Link X, locate and select the file that launches your game. That concludes the quick setup for your Cyborg 2. For further assistance, contact us at info at Enjoy your gaming!